country. It holds our story, our language, our law. It connects us to our ancestors and each other. Encoded across our sea, sky, river and desert country is 80,000 years of knowledge and story. Walk with us as we step towards a future where First Nations peoples are world leaders in embedding our knowledge in the creation of future technologies. Let us share what we see. Aboriginal teachers of culture have the most important job in the world because what we don't teach now gets lost. Our culture is oral and uh, losing our story, I guess, has been one of the uh, worst things that could have happened to us. And, and the opportunities to tell our stories is paramount, I believe. My main thoughts and, and wants were to get language out there, but to share in this way, yeah, I didn't think it was possible. In digital is Australia's first edutech company focusing on developing digital skills for Indigenous and non-Indigenous Australians through a cultural lens and we specifically focus on augmented and mixed reality technologies. Led by our elders, we share cultural knowledge through a digital lens and teach digital skills through a cultural lens. Inspiring our elders, young people and their educators to reach beyond what they think is possible for themselves. Right now, over 400 million Indigenous peoples across the world are excluded from digital futures. We are working to change this. We're going into an uncertain future where we don't know the skills that will be needed for these kids. I think following the kids' interests is going to help us prepare them for the world of tomorrow. The Indigital Schools program is an eight-step program where we teach teachers how to teach Indigenous digital skills, as well as working in 3D modelling and animation and working in Minecraft Education Edition with Indigenous coding and doing some storytelling as well. And we bring this together in an augmented reality experience that students can share at home. These kids are being exposed to a different type of learning and a different type of storytelling or modes of storytelling that far exceed anything that I've ever known myself. So I guess it's a blending of new culture with, with the old culture and finding that balance. You just have to say, right, we're going to do some coding and it's just like a stampede, you know, towards their, their devices. I mean, who doesn't love that? They're looking at the augmented reality and the virtual reality and the mixed reality. Um, and just watching the kids kind of, you can see some jaws just like dropping um, and, and just like some, a lot of laughter and a lot of excitement from the kids. Really important giving those kids that experience, making sure that they are prepared for whatever world tomorrow they're going to be living in, whatever technology they're going to need. It's quite important to know our past and what happened. It's a very good way to learn. I think, and it's a fun way to learn too. With such a wealth of cultural knowledge really at the learner's fingertips, the next round of digital entrepreneurs from an Indigenous perspective, again, I'd like to think that the potential is limitless as well. I've just reached into yesterday. I've just pulled a story to today. I've now told you that story and now there's a responsibility for each and every one of you to take that story into tomorrow. All those kind of uh, curriculum priorities like um, communication and uh, teamwork, intercultural understanding, I mean, you're just kind of going, wow, you know, how else would I be doing this with the same level of engagement? So, I mean, it's really at just about every level it's, it's been successful. Now I'm realising more than ever that it really is the kids. They've learned that there is another culture that has a way of telling stories that has the same message as they probably get from home. And that's the way forward, I think. This is the way we try to change as a planet. 
to be a better place.